this is Jim from Fuel Moto USA talking a little bit about camshafts and cam selection. Uh, one of the things we try to do here at Fuel Moto is give you a combination that's going to work for your application for your particular motorcycle. So uh, when you're looking at our uh, vast array of camshafts that we uh, offer, <coughs> some of the questions that we get, I uh, just want to make a few references so that everybody understands what we're talking about. So. Uh, Basically, your camshaft is going to be used to fill and evacuate your cylinder. We want to do that as efficiently as possible. So when you look at uh, the different camshafts, um, talking about the cam lobes themselves, this would be the base circle of the camshaft where compression happens. And then this would be uh, an opening, the opening flank as valve lift. This would be max lift, and then this would be the closing flank. We'll start out with the intake valve. Now, uh, if your intake valve opened at top dead center and closed at bottom dead center, your, your, your cylinder volume could be filled 100% effective, and we'll call, your, we'll call your cylinder volume 10 ounces just as a simple reference so this duration of the camshaft would represent the 10 ounces of volume that you're going to fill now because your intake cam is open in before top dead center on valve overlap and closes in after bottom dead center you can overfill your cylinder volumetrically. So if you put an extra ounce in your cylinder during valve overlap, that's a mechanically timed event that works in conjunction with your exhaust pulsation to overfill your cylinder. And then as your engine is rotating in after bottom dead center and the cylinder is closing, you can still keep your valve open at high RPM. You're going to have more air inertia to overfill the cylinder in after bottom dead center. So you're gonna effectively could put 13 ounces in your 10 ounce cylinder that would make you 130% volumetrically efficient. What's important about that is the very next event after intake is dynamic compression. So this would be the lobe center of the camshaft represented here. So this would be the opening flank of the cam lobe, the closing flank of the cam lobe, and the base circle. <clears throat> now if you select a camshaft that has a higher lobe center number, but the same duration, you would effectively have less overlap but more after bottom dead center duration. So basically what that would do is that would shift the power, your power curve that your engine makes <clears throat> because you're going to rely on the higher RPM airflow. It would actually power, it would actually shift your power and you're making less cylinder pressure. You would actually lose low RPM power and gain high RPM power. That's what that shift would do. Now, if you want both, you have to have more duration. The problem is when you add duration in after bottom dead center, you lose dynamic compression. So you have to go with a piston that has a higher ratio, a higher compression ratio, which is actually a higher depression ratio is what you really want is that aspiration.